So let's design out a practical application for why we would probably want to do something like this. And one of them is, say, working with currency. Because if we think about it, currency is kind of important. Well, if we look at just a, a traditional English number or currency value, say uh, $75.27. Let's look at what we're seeing here. Currency is going to start with some number. Then it's going to have some number of numbers in front of it. It's going to then, in turn, have a period. And then, and this is kind of important, it's going to have two sets. Two, two, two. That's kind of a big issue. So what can we do with this? Well, there's a few things that we have to deal with. You see, the dollar sign is actually a special character inside of regular expressions, as is the period over here. So we can't just magically make them, I can't just put them into my expression. So what can I do? Well first, let's go ahead and sort of design this out. My pattern, if we kind of looked at it, would be I need to tackle that, that, that dollar sign. Well, if I run into the problem of a character that I need that is used inside of regular expressions, what I need to do is just like when I would work with a regular, uh, an escape character inside of a string, I use the backslash. Then, whatever I put right after it, in this case the dollar sign, that indicates that I'm not worried about the actual kind of usage of the dollar sign, which means end of document or end of line. I'm now talking about the actual character of the dollar sign. The next thing I'm dealing with is that I'm going to have 75. But 75 is not the only possible number I might be dealing with. I might also deal with uh, $100 and zero cents. I might deal with $1 and 75 cents. I might deal with a thousand and for our sake we'll ignore commas. So how do I kind of tackle this? Well I need numbers. I need only numbers. So I'm gonna create sort of that same and I'll use the same color. I create a choice that I need to be working off of. And I need to work off repeatability. Well, we see that in this case, I have two. In this case, I have three. In this case, I have one. And in this case, I have uh, four. So I'm always going to have at least one possible number. And we'll, you know, for my kind of pattern. So I'll come in here and I'll deal with a plus sign. Remember, the plus sign says that it can be at least one character. Now one of the things I'm actually able to do inside of these square braces is I could type out 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You know, yes I can. But since sort of regular expressions when they were designed uh, said, you know, probably people are going to be saying that they're going to need numbers, we're able to work off of a range instead. I'm able to do something like 0 to 9 and that's going to say 0 to 9 and including everything in between it. Now, getting back to kind of how we were looking at things, we said that period, again, it's a special character just like the dollar sign. So it's actually going to do the same thing. It's going to need to have its backslash in front of it to indicate this is talking about just the dollar, or sorry, just the decimal point. Finally, we run into these two numbers. And I'm going to use the same approach that I did over here. I'm going to use square brackets, zero, dash 9. However, one of the things I'm able to do is I'm able to utilize instead of the plus sign that I did here, which is you know, 0 or 1 to an infinite number, I can limit it with these curly braces and state that only two digits are going to appear. 